You think you left it in long enough, George? Mm -hmm. Ah, it's just right. <laughs> Next time, I'll get you a puddle-proof book. <laughs> creature in my kitchen. Quick, my love, one kiss before my wife comes home. It's doing it again. The refrigerator's making strange noises. Maybe it's hungry. Now, you heard that. It's been growling at me all afternoon. Well, maybe you shouldn't wear such revealing clothes around your appliances. Remember that blender that blew up when it saw you in your bikini? OK, that's it. That's it. That sounds like the alien. I want it out. Gone. Out. Well, George, the greatest thing just happened. I'm in Danny's pit crew for the Orange Crate Derby. Yep, I'm going for my fourth straight championship. So I needed someone good. Well, congratulations. That's wonderful, sweetheart. Just uh, what exactly does a pit man do? I thought the car just rolled downhill. Well, yeah, it does. But I need someone to make sure my seat cushion's in place. Yeah, and I'm the guy. <laughs> I've got to go, Webb. Now, remember what we worked on. Right. Cushion in, cushion out. I'm a natural. <laughs> See ya. Boy, what a day. This morning, I was just wuffed along fifth grader. Now, I'm wuffed along pit mechanic. Well, honey, if you're going to have that much fun, why don't you enter the derby yourself? I don't have a car. Couldn't you build one? Me? You think I could? Sure, you remember that mailbox you built? Now, that was really good. And it would have lasted longer, too, if Ed McMahon hadn't sent all that stuff in one day. <laughs> Catherine, that was a lovely mailbox, but we're talking about a sophisticated vehicle that demands a great knowledge of aerodynamics. It's four wheels in a box. I mean, how hard could it be? You could help him if he needed it. Well, sure, but what would poor Danny do without a, without a pit man? Well, he can take the next runner up. Nine of us tried out. Well, good. There you go. What about it, George? Yeah, come on. And it'll be real safe, and I'll be learning how to drive in a car with no engine. Well, uh, listen, I don't want to be a party pooper. Go for it. Thanks, George. Thanks, ma'am. Now, I'm wet along. Race car driver. I love America. Oh, Catherine. Catherine, I wish you wouldn't have done that. Done what? Pushed him into entering the Orange Crate Derby. Pushed him? Wait a minute, George. You were here. You heard him. He hasn't been this excited since his ant farm arrived with two queens. <laughs> it's just that, darling, there's so much competition going on. There's Pop Warner football, Little League baseball, not to mention soccer. When was the last time you saw a kid just climb a tree or, or skip a pebble on the water or, or even make a whistle out of a blade of grass? Not since Tom and Huck moved out of the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Catherine. But you're right about one thing. We definitely need another refrigerator. Good, my biker mama's home. Oh, George, 
this jacket is really helping me relate to the teens in the crisis group. You know, today, Frankie Delisle offered to get me a discount on a tattoo. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Born to counsel. Catherine, I think we really have to make a decision on this refrigerator. Oh, you decide, honey. I mean, you know, refrigerator's a refrigerator. Oh, great. Then we'll go with this one. The Fisherman's Classic. It has separate compartments for butter, eggs, and bait. You know, on second thought, maybe I will look at the brochures. I don't want your minnows flirting with my herring. Oh, well, where's Webster Granatelli? Is he still in the garage? Oh, he's keeping that car hush, hush. He even got the meter man to wear a blindfold. Tell me if this isn't the cutest racing outfit you've ever seen. <laughs> don't you think he's going to love it? Yeah, if he doesn't get beat up for wearing it. Well, don't you think it's a bit much? Well, he can't race in rags. Oh, and look what I got up. One for you, one for me. Here we go. <laughs> Catherine, I'm warning you, if we get too involved in this thing, it's going to put pressure on him to win. I guess I could take it back. Oh, ma'am, is that for me? Or not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> a lightning bolt. Yep. Yeah. Now I know what to put on my car. Thanks, ma'am. So when are we going to see this masterpiece of yours? Well, I was hoping to finish it by tomorrow, but I need a bag of flour. A bag of flour? Do the boys in Detroit know about this? It's a secret idea I have. I'm still working out the kinks. Oh, well, I have some flour in the kitchen you could use. I just bought it to hide my jewelry in. Yeah, I love this. Okay, don't look yet. Can I straighten my knees? You sure can. George, you're peeking. Of course I'm peeking. That's why I was such a good hide-and-seek player. Okay, you can look now. Oh! Oh, honey, that is... Oh! Oh, that is dear. Dear? Yeah, that's a lady's way of saying it's one mean machine. Well, I call it Driss Lightning. Let me ask you something. Is this turbocharged? Better. It's wealth charged. Listen to this. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to let you boys dive under the hood and do your little work. I'm off to the community center. Goodbye. On mm. Saturday? Yes. It's the only day my Grey Panther group isn't out picketing for something. <laughs> Happy motoring. <laughs> so where'd you put the flower? Oh, that's the best part. Check it out. We gotta keep down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so what should we do? Should we test it out in the driveway? Or should we go right to Indy? Anybody home? Hey, Web. Hey, Danny. Hi, how you doing? I'm Woody. The other half of uh, Team Feldman. Oh. I'm, I'm George. I know, George Papadopoulos. Hey, I watch your show. Listen, as long as the boys were going to be racing together, we just thought we'd stop by and uh, check out the competition. Good. He's unveiling his new uh, model right now. Yeah. I'm going to add some chrome. Just as soon as we have some TV dinners. Oh. Well, 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 that's, uh, that's quite a little roadster you got there, son. <laughs> you don't see burlap used that much anymore. Oh, well, I got it from a potato sack. I almost named the car the French Fry Express. <laughs> oh, Dad, look. He's got headlights. Can I put some on my car? No, no, son. We recycle our tin cans. Say, why don't you show Mr. Papadopoulos your car, huh? Sure. Yeah. Well, what do you think, Woody? I may be a little biased, but I think he's done one heck of a job. Oh, yeah. He, that's a, it's a real uh, honey of a car. Yeah. Yeah, we, just, uh, we just got done running her through the wind tunnel at TurboTech. Wind tunnel? Yeah, that new fiberglass hull should shave a second and a half off last year's time. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Where's the orange crate? Oh, oh it's in there. Highly modified, but well within specifications. 
Sure, for the Starship Enterprise. Didn't Danny do a great job with his car, George? Hey. Well, my dad helped. Some. Oh, really? Oh, hey, I enjoy it. Now, I do understand, though, that there are some parents who just don't have time to get involved in their kids' lives. I don't think it's a matter of time. You know, you're right, it isn't. It's priorities. And I may be in the minority, George, but I put my kid right at the top of my list. Now, wait a minute. Now, if Webster wanted help, he sure as heck would have asked me. Well, of course he would have. <laughs> Come on, Danny, we've got to hit the road. We'll, uh, we'll see you in the pits. Bye, Webb. Bye. So, George, uh, where should we try out first? You know, I've been thinking about what a good job you've done on this, Webb. Thanks, George. With a few modifications, we could really get this thing humming. Like what? Well, first of all, let's take this off. <laughs> uh, but, George... Don't worry about it. we got a whole week to get Grease Lightning to live up to its name. George, I got some better headlights. We don't need headlights. We want to keep this real streamlined. Oh, great. I ate two cans of beans for nothing. <laughs> uh, web, web, my boy. A week from today, that pile of wood over there is going to be a championship racer. And this, this is the key to our checkered flag. George, that seems like a lot of work. Not for Team Papadopoulos. <laughs> well, uh... Should I start cutting out the frame? No, not right now. Then what can I do? Well, there's a lot of things for you to do. Why don't you go get us some lunch? <laughs> there you are, Miss Papadropoulos. You got yourself one fine cooling unit. If you ever want to replace that stove, uh, give me a jingle. Oh, actually... I don't use it much. My husband does most of the cooking. Oh, a career gal, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I begged and begged my hubby to let me hang up my apron strings and oven mitts so I could pursue a career in psychology. A shrink, huh? You know, my daughter goes to one of them, but it doesn't seem to help much. She's still not married. Maybe she's too comfortable living with you in the 1950s. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, enjoy your unit. Hi, honey. Where's George? Working on my car. I thought it was finished. It was, but he had a few ideas for a couple of changes. Oh. Can I have the mayo, please? Mayonnaise. Oh, that big kid. <laughs> I knew as soon as he saw how much fun you were having that he'd want to play, too. Yeah. Do we have any sandwich meat? Um, yes. <laughs> you know, Webster, you're a very lucky little boy. Yeah. George finished off the liverwurst last night. <laughs> you're lucky to have a father who really wants to spend time with you. Yeah. Uh, pickles? Uh huh. When I was your age, my father was always so distant. Oh, you mean hard to talk to? No, distant, as in Europe. Oh, he sent me presents from all over the world. <laughs> but I would have given up all the Swiss chocolate and lederhosen to have the kind of quality time that you and George share. Yeah. I guess it's pretty neat that George is helping me out. Yeah. No, you're not going to be using the uh, herring or the olives, right? No, just some raisins. <laughs> the mustard helps the raisins to stick.
big smile. <sighs> well, we did it. We built a humdinger, didn't we, kid? Sure did, George. A great dinger. Can I go to bed now? Sure, go to bed now. We want you to rest up for that big race tomorrow. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, now. Mm. Good night, George. You know, George, you and Webster built more than a car. Built some wonderful memories. Yeah, and it gave me a chance to add to my tool supply. <laughs> Win or lose, you both have had a wonderful bonding experience. Now, speaking of bonding... Win or lose? Come on, that's such a defeatist attitude. Obviously, you never played football. Alas, the secret's out. <laughs> Darling, my coach used to say to me, if you're thinking about losing, don't get on the football field, unless maybe it's against Northwestern. George, I was thinking about another contact sport. No uniforms, fewer players, no injuries. <laughs> Darling, I can't wait to see Team Feldman's eyes when they take a gander at that. George, my darling, Porgy Porgy, look into my eyes. Now, I'm having a fantasy of a man in a work shirt. That gives me a great idea, Catherine. Oh, good, I've if, still got it. If I lower that chassis a half inch, it's gonna cut down on the wind resistance. <laughs> Oh, am I interrupting something? Unfortunately not. Well, what do you think, Feldman? Word around the track is you've been working on the car. I kind of miss the burlap. I think I'll just go on upstairs, George, and read for a little while. You know, it only takes a chapter to put me to sleep. You know, George, I really just came down to let you know that there is no shame in finishing second, or worse. Oh, yeah? Well, remember that when I wave at you from the winner's circle. <laughs> oh, nice tools. Recommended for ages three to six. <laughs> oh, that's really funny, Feldman. Really funny. Why don't you save that hot air for that wind tunnel of yours? Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, if you want to keep bellowing at me, big fella, come do it tomorrow at my victory celebration. Oh, I'll be there. I'll be the one with the trophy in my hand. Ah, you're up awfully early. Mm-hmm. Been down to check on your car? Sort of. You gonna eat those cornflakes, or are you just trying to confuse them? <laughs> Well, take a gander at this. Airplane wax with space-aged polymers. <laughs> it's gonna make your car fly like the Concorde. George, wait! Don't worry, we have plenty of time. I'm gonna use the electric buffer. Go on, go on, eat. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh isn't a wealth of information. You know, if you're having a problem with your father, it's okay to tell him how you feel. And that goes for me, too. Because no matter what, we love you very much. Webster Long, get out here! Boy, George loves really loud, doesn't he? <laughs> Come on. Why would you do this? You, you put you put you put the headlights back on. You change the wheels. You, you put the silk <laughs> horn on. Why would you do this? Why would you do this to your car? It wasn't my car, George. It wasn't even our car. You planned it. You built it. It's your car. But you're gonna lose. You're gonna get creamed in this car. I don't care. All I wanted to have was some fun. Now you can have your stupid race. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey, come here. Hey, wait a minute, come here! I can't believe I said that, Catherine. I can't believe I, I yelled at that kid like that. You know, Catherine, sometimes being a father really throws me. Well, there has 
hasn't been a perfect father since Ben Cartwright. And he wasn't so great without Hop Singh. <laughs> what happened here? Well, I think that you were against this derby from the start because you were afraid that Webster would react to competition the way you do. Yeah, and I sure got caught up in it. You know, I thought when I got through playing pro ball that I could do things just for the fun of it, but I guess I can't. Honey, you can't just take off your competitive side and put it in a locker. I mean, it's part of you. It, it helped make you a great athlete. Yeah, that and 100 miles of tape. You know, I was doing all right till I thought about Webster losing. Well, honey, we're all human. You know, I don't really care that much about tennis. But every time that I play with Muffy St. Clair, I have this compulsive urge to drive the ball right into her nose job. <laughs> Mind if I come in? Depends. Are you still mad at me? No, I'm not mad at you. Then how come you still have your mad face on? This isn't my mad face. This is my, I goof big face. I'm sorry I cut you out of building your car. It's okay, George. Your car was pretty neat, too. All it needed was some finishing touches. That smoke effect you got, I would have never been able to think of that. Yes, you would have, if you had enough time. <laughs> well, what do you say? You want to wanna go to the race? And listen, it's okay if, if you want to hire another pit man. Nah. Where am I going to find another cush man as good as you? <laughs> well, what do you say? Let's, let's rip out of here. Right. Oh, George, do we have any charcoal? Why? Well, I want to put some on my tires so I look like a burning rubber. <laughs> Webster will be back in a moment. <laughs> well, how about some ice cream for the most creative racer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though I didn't win a race, I think I got the best trophy. Ma'am, can we put it in a front window, please? Um, yeah, for a week, and then we have to take it away. It would make the neighbors jealous. <laughs> It's too bad that Danny didn't win. His father was really mad. Yeah, it's too bad. Yeah, too bad. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> 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 